What's up guys, back here with another video for you. Um, next part of my death metal CD collection here. Got a fat stack here, and we don't have any music playing in the background. Um, I'm too lazy to set up my usual shit so I could film with my CD shelf backdrop, which is right here. But, fuck it. Uh, we're starting off with Mortician here. This is hacked up for the barbecue. Uh, I picked this one up at a flea market. It was in plastic wrap, if I remember right. And I just saw it through there. It's literally just the CD and printer paper versions of the album art and such. I'm a little confused about it as to why. Maybe he had it in a book and threw away the actual shit. But whatever. This is a great mortician record. I'm sure you guys have all heard it. If not, go listen to it. It is brilliant. Next, Superior Mortician album. Chainsaw Dismemberment. Amazing, amazing record. The best song on here, I would say, is Rabid. If you've heard that song before. If you haven't, go listen to it. One of the best brutal death metal bands I could think of. New York death metal. It's not as good as... Florida in some cases, but other than in other cases it is. Um, next, My Dying Bride, The Voice of the Wretched. This is like a live album, uh, recorded live in Tilburg at 013 on the 4th of March, 2001. I'm sure you guys have all heard My Dying Bride. This is, should probably be in my Doom section, but whatever. I'm putting them back as I go. I probably shouldn't. Next, Apex Predator Easy Meat by Napalm Death. Eh. Eh, album. I used to have Scum. I traded it to a friend. I never listened to it anyway. I don't listen to this kind of stuff all that much. To tell you the truth, I don't even know where this came from, because I don't think I would have bought this. Uh, yeah, the art... Weird head on a shovel and hand carrot and meat trays. So, whatever you're up to, Napalm Death, stop it. Next, Season of the Undead by Necrophagia or Necrophagia. I don't know how to say it properly. I believe. No, this does not have. Uh, what's his balls from Pantera on it? Phil and Salmo. No, he's uh, he's on something. But uh, this is a great, great old school death metal record. More thrash than anything. It's just kind of the imagery and the attitude of death metal. A little bit of the sound. It's nasty. It's a really good album. You guys should listen to this one if you haven't. This is the one with Phil and Salmo. Uh, Black Blood Vomitorium EP. Just a couple tracks. Got it for real cheap somewhere uh banned in 31 countries is what it says on the album cover if you can see that uh right where'd it go oh right there banned in 31 countries yeah it's an all right ep um eps are kind of pointless for me which is funny because my my band's first release was an ep i just hate having you know 20 minutes of music and then I'm going to change it. But that's just me being an idiot. Next. Some slam. Nephrectomy. Uh, interspecies bondage. <laughs> it's a really fucked up album. But it is everything you'd expect from a slamming brutal death metal release. Uh, there's a cow. On the CD. Yeah, it's everything you'd expect from a slime record. Next is like a, a death grind band from Chicago called Mequiet. This is Infinite Regress. Play with these guys at the Cobra Lounge if you're familiar with Chicago at all. Uh, also with the band Burning Churches. It's a good show, a lot of fun. Cool band. Uh, they throw down live for sure, which is cool. That's about what grind is good for for me. I never really want to listen to it, other than like Impetigo and Repulsion in a uh, 
studio session, like studio record, but live they're awesome. Next, some Nile and their Darkened Shrines. One of my first ever death metal CDs right here. Big fan of Nile, but I don't listen to it all that much because this style is not necessarily my thing. But it is nonetheless a really fucking awesome record. I'm sure you guys have all heard it, don't need to go too far into it. Next, Chicago Band again. And tonight's Requiem Eternal by November's Doom. Death Doom. Really good record. Their first record was far superior, but I find this thing everywhere around here. Not entirely sure why it is literally everywhere for like five bucks, but it's a great record. Check it out if you like Amorphous and stuff like that. Next. Uh, Devil's Conjuries, Volume 1 by Nunslaughter. I think I've played this once. I don't listen to much Nunslaughter. But it is, nonetheless, fun when I'm in the mood for it. I don't get in this kind of mood all that often. Uh, when I listen to metal, there's a 90% chance it's black metal, or power metal, or folk metal. Um, and the other 10% is probably doom. And then like 2% is like death metal and thrash. But uh, yeah, Nunslaughter's great. I listened to this yesterday. Which is funny because that's kind of contradictory to what I just said. Cause of Death by Obituary. Come on. It's so good. You guys have heard this. Body Bag's the best song Obituary has ever written. And the last one is the single band. Uh, and if you don't like Opeth, you can, you know, cut out right about now. Next is Orchid by Opeth. Good album. Has a little bit of blackened tendencies, which is kind of out there for me uh, when it comes to Opeth. But this is one of my favorite bands ever, and it's definitely my favorite death metal band. The song Into the Frost of Winter is amazing. Forest of October, Under the Weeping Moon, In the Mist She Was Standing. Come on. So good. Next, Morning Rise. Black Rose Immortal is the best song on here. Um, to Bid You Farewell is also a great track. I'm going to listen to this later today, actually. Great record. Uh, next, My Arms Your Hearse. Demon That Falls on here. Karma is a great song. I think this is the only recorded cover ever of Circle of the Tyrants by Celtic Frost on here. Great record. Next, I don't have uh, Blackwater Park nor Still Life. Just say so you no. Know, this is Deliverance. This is my favorite record for a long, long time. Now, I couldn't tell you what the hell my favorite record is. But Master's Apprentice is on here, and that's probably my favorite song on this record. Damnation by Opa. Kind of a rock album, pretty much. You guys have all heard that one, too. Uh, Death Whisper to Lullaby is the best track. Next, special edition of Ghost Reveries. I had a regular copy, but I got this one for Christmas from one of my buddies. And it came with the documentary of the making of, and an 5.1 5, 5 mix of the Ghost Reveries album, and the director's cut of the video of The Grand Conjuration. Ghost of Perdition is a great song everybody knows. Um, Hours of Wealth is a good song as well. Next, Watershed. Air of Parents on here, Coils, Great, The Lotus Eater, Burden. The, the whole fucking album is awesome. This might actually be my favorite Opeth record, which is weird because it's their last death metal record. CD case is messed up. I don't have, uh, what's it called? I have the, I don't know. The next one I have is The Sorceress. I don't have a couple albums. Fuck. The Sorceress in a plastic container thing. I don't listen to this all that much. Just because it's, uh, not the best Opeth record. But, what's cool about it? If I could get it out of this damn plastic. Okay, fuck, it broke what is. 
coolest thing about it is I got it signed by the entire band. Right there. I'm not a nerd for signatures, but when I can get them, I'll get them because they're, they're badass. If you can get them, at least. But I don't like to pester band members and shit. Uh, will o' Wisp is on here. It's my favorite Opeth song off that record. And I'll do a couple more here. Since I got a little bit of time left, I'll do three more. Next one is Orloff, Apparitions Among the Graveyard Sky. Really cool, really old sounding death doom. Look at how badass that picture is. Man, that's awesome. This band's really cool. Uh, I think this is their only full length release, and it's just like it's like King Diamond stories with like uh, a Finnish band from the '90s playing the music. Next, Paths of Possession, Promise in Blood, uh, melodic death metal with Corpse Grinder on vocals, which sounds really odd. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just a uh, it's kind of forgettable, but it's all right. It's worth keeping around in case I'm not in the mood for, like, at the gates of the Black Dahlia murder or something. And last one is Phallioplasty with Systematic Mutilation. More slam. I barely ever listen to slam, and it just keeps kind of showing up at my, in my collection. <laughs> Las Vegas based, I believe. Um, but yeah, that'll make it for this one. Next video, we're going to start with pur or Pertinence from Finland. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep greasy.